too much fat may be bad for your gut bacteria. A new study from China suggests the study involved more than 200 young, healthy adults who were assigned to eat either a low, moderate or high-fat diet for six months. Those in the high-fat diet group saw unfavorable changes in their levels of certain gut bacteria and the compounds these bacteria produce. Such changes might have negative consequences over the long term, such as an increased risk of metabolic diseases like type 2 diabetes. The study was conducted in young and healthy adults ages 18 to 35 years old, so it's unclear if the findings apply to other groups of people. Gut bacteria and fat Previous studies have shown that people's diets can affect their gut bacteria, and that obesity has been linked to reductions in certain types of such bacteria. But relatively few studies have examined changes in gut bacteria after assigning people to a specific diet. In the new study, participants were randomly assigned to one of three diet groups, the low-fat group, which got 20% of their daily calories from fat, and 66% from carbohydrates. The moderate-fat group, which got 30% of daily calories from fat and 56% from carbs. And the high-fat group, which got 40% of daily calories from fat and 46% from carbs. The total number of calories and amount of protein and fiber in participants' diet was the same for all groups. The participants also gave blood and stool samples at the start and end of the study. At the end of the six-month study, participants in the low-fat diet group saw increases in levels of so-called good bacteria, called Bloucha and Fecalobacterium compared with their levels at the study start. Those in the high-fat diet group had decreased levels of these bacteria. Bloucha and Fecalobacterium bacteria help produce a fatty acid called butyrate which is a key source of energy for bowel cells and has anti-inflammatory properties, the researchers said. Indeed, when the researchers measured levels of butyrate in participants' tool samples, they saw that those in the low-fat group had increased levels of this compound at the end of the study, while those in the high-fat group had reduced levels. What's more, over the course of the study, people in the high-fat diet group experienced increases in levels of bacteria called bacteroids and alice types, which have been linked with type 2 diabetes. People in the high-fat diet group also had increases in levels of so-called long-chain fatty acids, which are thought to stimulate inflammation in the body. Researchers found increased levels of certain markers of inflammation in the blood of participants in the high-fat group. The study noted that participants in all three diet groups lost weight during the study, with the low-fat diet group losing the most weight. It's unclear if the weight loss could be related to some of the changes seen in participants, gut bacteria and metabolic markers, so future research is needed to clarify this, the author said.